Here we're going to go through and practice these dimensional analysis sort of problems. So the way these work is we're going to start off by, you know, writing down the initial number. So in every problem, there's an initial number. And once in a while, it's a little subtle, but pretty much the initial number. And then we're going to put in conversion factors. Now, conversion factor is every time we have some kind of a math fact, like a kilogram equals a thousand grams, we can rewrite that as a thousand grams over one kilogram or one kilogram over a thousand grams. And we can use those as conversion factors. We set them up so that we cancel the units and then we get our answer. Now of this we're going to have a couple of different kinds of problems. We're going to have one that only requires single step. We'd have other ones that are multiple step and that's not a problem. Then we have squared or cubed units and that's when we're going to use the same conversion factor twice or three times. And then a double unit sort of a problem is the same idea where we start off with something like miles per hour. And so we have to do a conversion to get the miles to change into something and get the hours to change into something. So it's sort of a double problem. So we'll try a couple of examples. So start off here, convert 85 centimeters into inches. So we have to write down our initial number. So I'm going to write down 85 centimeters. And again, that unit is really important. That's an important clue for how to proceed. Whatever is our unit here has to go down here because we're going to want it to cancel in a moment. So what do we know about centimeters? Well, well we happen to know that 2.5 centimeters is one inch. And so our centimeters cancel out. And since we are trying to get to inches, then our setup is finished. That only took one step. So what do we do now is we multiply the top numbers, 85.0 times 1, divided by 254, 2.54, and we get an answer. I get an answer of 33.4645. And the uh, units that I have left here are inches. So that's my answer. Now, if I want to say, okay, let's go back and, and uh, round this off to three significant digits. Well, my three digits are three, three, and four. But because that's a six, it's going to round up. So my answer will be 33.5 inches. And that's my answer. Now, the next problem, next conversion over here. Okay, I want to convert 85 feet into centimeters. So again, we're going to start off. Let's write down our number. Now, feet has to go down here because I want them to cancel. So what do I know about feet that might be useful? Well, centimeters goes to inches, and feet I can do with inches. So let's get to inches. And I know that they're 12 inches and 1 foot. Now, what do I know about inches? Okay, I want inches on the bottom now because those are going to uh, cancel. And I know in 1 inch I can go to centimeters. We know that there's 2.54 centimeters in 1 inch. And now we can where we have centimeters. Centimeters is our unit that's left, so we know we're finished with our setup. Let's do the calculation. I'm getting 2590.8. And that's just by multiplying by top numbers and divide by one, divide by one. And the unit for that answer is centimeters. Now, if I am wanting to say, okay, well, I have three significant figures. So I want this number, this number, this number, and I can't just write 259 because that's not the same as 2590. So I'm going to put in a zero, okay, to hold the place, and that'll be my answer. Okay, next problem. We want to convert 85 centimeters squared into inches squared. Well, that's going to be a slightly different situation. So let's start over here. So I'm going to 85 centimeters squared. Okay, well I happen to know that there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch and a centimeter doesn't completely cancel out centimeters squared so I'm going to use the same conversion factor again. So I'll put the one inch on top and the 2.54 centimeters on the bottom. And when I'm done here, centimeters, centimeters, cancel out centimeters squared. So my answer is going to be inches squared, which is what I want. So now I just have to do my numbers. So 85 divided by 2.54 divided by 2.54.
I'm getting the value 0, 0.00. That doesn't sound right. Hold on. Okay, I just checked my math. I'm getting 13.175. And that looks better. And so what am I doing? I have uh, three significant figures. So I'm going to take this number here. I want the 1, the 3, and the 1. Okay, because that next number is a 7, I'm going to round that up. So my answer will be 13.2 inches squared. Okay, so I can notice that this is a squared unit, so I had to use my conversion twice. Okay, my last problem here, my last example, I'm going to do convert 85 miles per hour into meters per second. So 85.0 miles over an hour. Now I'm going to do the same thing I've done before, only this time I have to do it twice. I have to get my miles into meters, and I have to get my hours into seconds. So let's do the hours first. Because hours is on the bottom, I'm going to need to put hours on top. So what do I know about hours? I know that when one hour there are 60 minutes. So one hour is 60 minutes. So hours cancel. Now I have minutes has to go on top because I want those to cancel. What do I know about minutes? I know that in one minute there are 60 seconds. So this point here, I have gotten my seconds, so I'm halfway done with my problem. Now the next one, I need to go from miles to meters. Okay, miles to meters. Well, how many miles per meter? Well, that's going to be a little bit of troublesome here, but I know miles goes on the bottom. Okay, and I know that there's a conversion from miles to kilometers, and then I can go from kilometers to meters. I'm running out of room here. I know there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, and I know that the conversion is every one mile is 1.609 kilometers. Now, on any time we do a kind of a problem, you know, we would give you those kind of conversions. So there's our setup, because now miles cancels out. That gives me kilometers. Kilometers cancel out. It gives me meters. And that's what I'm looking for, meters over seconds. So now all I have to do is just do this whole problem. I want to do 85 times 1.609 times 1,000 divided by 60 divided by 60. And I'm getting 37.99. And that is uh, now meters per second. Um, but here I have three significant figures, so if I want to go one, two, three, keep those. Well, because that's a nine, that's going to round that other nine up to a zero, which is going to round my seven up to eight. So it's going to change my answer here to 38.0 meters per second. And that's my final answer. Now, here's three more problems. Go ahead and hit pause try them, and then I'll show you the answers. For the first problem here, I'm getting uh, 68.897. We can see how we set it up. If I want to make that three significant figures, then I would write this as 68.9 inches. Okay, this one's coming out to a really big number. It's going to be 48 seven eight seven two zero 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 okay if I want to make that three significant figures and that's going to be feet times feet so that's feet squared square feet okay so I'm going to put that in scientific notation I'm going to call that four point eight eight times ten to the one two three four five six seven eight nine feet squared Okay, let's look at the last problem. Oops. Now here I've set up this problem. I had to go from 65 miles per hour. So I went ahead and did the hours first. So there's hours goes to minutes. Minutes goes to uh, seconds. So I have seconds. And then I want to go back and get rid of my miles. So miles I did to kilometers and then kilometers to meters. So I have the meters. I multiply all the top numbers divided by the bottom numbers, and I got 29.05138.
I only had two significant figures, so I rounded that off to 29. And that's the practice problems.